Hey, what's going on everyone? Just got back from getting my computer components for my computer build, and I thought I'd put it online and you know, share it with you guys. Uh, if you're looking to do a build yourself, just take your time, do your research on the parts that you want, because if this is going to be your build for like, you know, like the next few years or however long you're going to keep it. So I did my research, and I'll start with the left, uh, which is the Intel Core i5. 4670K processor. Uh, it's a quad-core processor. Um, it's one of the new Haswell uh, chips. It's part of the 1150 socket. Now, a lot of people think seem to think, um, well, if you're going to do gaming, you need an i7, which is not true. Um, if you're going to be doing lots of um, like tasks that involve, you know, editing and doing this and doing that, and you need like the um, the, you know, lot of multi-threaded applications. Yes, the i7 is a bit better. It's got hyper-threading. But if you're going to be doing gaming and just primarily normal things online, like, you know, YouTube videos, maybe some editing and stuff like that, i5 is more than enough. In terms of gaming, it's right on par. Um, there's virtually no difference, really, other than, like, a few frames per second, maybe, like, one or two. Um, so, I mean, for me, I couldn't justify paying, you know, another, like, I think it was like 80 bucks more or whatever it was, so that's my processor in the end. Uh, motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte Z87X UD3H. Uh, this is a um, very good motherboard. You can SLI, Crossfire, Overclock. It's got this new heat sink that keeps it cool. Um, up to 10 USB 3.0 ports. So it's a very good uh, motherboard. Next to that, I went with the uh, Samsung 840 EVO SSD. This is going to be for my, my, for my main OS. Uh, next to that, I'm with the Cooler Master Hyper EVO 212. This is a good CPU cooler. It's like 34 bucks, so budget cost, and it does really well. Um, next to that, I'm with the Corsair Vengeance um, 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is the low profile uh, version of the RAM. You see a little LP there, just if you have any um, CPU coolers, it uh, kind of tucks out of the way there. And next to that, I went with an Arctic, just 120 millimeter fan, just for the other side of the uh, CPU cooler. Always a good idea to put two fans on them. And I went with Windows 8.1 for my operating system. Uh, just wanted, just wanted something different. Um, I actually like Windows 8.1 so, or Windows 8, so that's what I went with. Next to that, a two terabyte, just normal hard drive. I believe it's 7200 RPM, so it's pretty fast. And I went with a new mouse as well. Had a, literally a piece of junk mouse for the past three years, so I want to go with something a little bit more premium. So this is the Death Adder by Razer. This is a 2013 edition. Uh, and then for my video card, I went with the MSI Twin Frozer GTX 770 Overclock Edition. Uh, damn good card. Maxes any game out there um, on the market, so very good card. And the case that I went with is the Cooler Master CM Storm Striker. Uh, very good case. I'll you know, I'll show you that when I get the build all set. And uh, that, that's my build. Also, I went with a couple of components as well, little accessories. I went with uh, just an air can of um, compressed air. And I went with uh, an anti static wristband. Always a good idea to be doing this when you're doing your build, especially if it's your first one. Uh, like me, uh, I just want to be safe. Don't want anything to happen to, you know, the motherboard or anything like that. So, I mean, it's like five bucks, definitely worth it. And the air is just to clean up my old computer. I'm going to be using, reusing my power supply, which is why I don't have one here. And yeah, it's always good to have, you know, to keep everything dust free. So that's the build, guys. I'm going to show you the final result in a second due to editing. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the final result. This is the case. This is a Cooler Master CM Storm Striker. Uh, it's got a nice striker logo on there. And that's funny because that's been my online name. Um, since like 2001, so I've had the name for quite a while, so I kind of laugh when I saw the case. But I actually like the case, I didn't buy it for the name, obviously. But like I said, it's a very good case, um, keeps the computer extremely cool, oh my gosh. And plus it's a full tower too, so that's what I went with a uh, full tower, just because, um, you know, not only is it good for, you know, space, but it's also good to keep the computer cool. Um, so this is the front. You got a lot of different bays. I believe you have two, four, six, eight, nine. So nine bays, uh, expansion bays to um, you know put whatever you want in there. I got a nice CM Storm logo on the front, and that's not just um, for show. It actually comes off. And there's a drive in there. And, well, not a drive, but there's a little pouch, and you could um, keep all your accessories. So I just keep. Um, I have my SLI bridge in there for when I get my other card. I got um, 
SATA cables, I got brackets, nuts, bolts, what have you, so it's pretty cool that they do that. So I just keep everything kind of tucked away in there, and it just tucks away under the computer. Cat here. And that's the thing too, uh, got a cat obviously, so with lots of dust and cat hair, um, this thing has all these um, covers, have dust covers on them, so that's nice. So it really keeps the uh, dust out of your system. Okay, on the top here you have, well first here you have a thing called the X-Dock and you could just mount a um, hard drive in there. You could already mount you could just stick it in there if you need to uh, uh, put something in there quick. You got uh, your controls up top, um, two USB 3s, two USB 2s, microphone, headphone, recess power button, I'm um, sorry, recess, reset button so you don't hit it by mistake. You can see it's kind of deep in there. Um, power, fan control, LED off on switch. And you got a nice grippy handle right here. Okay, this is a windowed case, which is very nice. You got all your components inside, which I'll be showing you in a moment. Um, intake, so you could uh, actually switch the fans in here. You can actually turn them to face out this way as well, so it's pretty cool. Um, here's the top of the case, lots of ventilation. Uh, dust cover comes out to keep the fan in there from a lot of dust going in there, so it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the back, big 140 millimeter fan. Grommets for your liquid cooling. So I have six USB 3.0s on the back, um, eSATA, HDMI, all, you know, all your normal controls, and I have two USB 3.0s on the front, so eight, so that's very nice. Um, you can put a fan speed control in here to control your fan speed, but I already have one. And you have lots of bays there for your uh, PCI Express and whatnot. Uh, power supply down here. And again, there's a dust cover as well that comes out. I can't because my carpet's there, but keeps uh, dust from going in. Um, thumb screws, which is nice to get the doors off nice and easy. And... We'll go to this side really quick. Another intake there, and it's a nice big bulge, so it keeps your wires, um, you know, you have room to put your wires in, which is nice. And yeah, everything's protected by dust covers. Uh, this, there's pretty good sized feet on the bottom, so it keeps the airflow, as you can see. And that's about that, so let me take off the cover and uh, we'll show you the inside. So as I said, thumb screws are nice. Just take the last one off. Window comes off, no problem. And here's the inside of the uh, case. So I have my, as you can see, my uh, Hyper Evo uh, CPU cooler. Pretty good size. I got my both fans on there. Um, <clears throat> There's my low-profile RAM, which I really didn't need, but I like it. It looks nice. Uh, my video card. Room for SLI, which I'm going to do, which is going to go right there. Power supply. I have the OCZ 700-watt Stealth Extreme 2. Um, there's my SSD. <clears throat> this case comes with a mount, which is nice. More fans, which have dust covers. Um, I have my 2 terabyte hard drive. And inside are my two fans. And they're also they also act as uh, bays to put in um, hard drives and whatnot. There's my DVD up there, and that's pretty much that. Nice 200 millimeter fan up top, which I will be all replacing with LED fans in the coming uh, days. Um, that's a 140 millimeter fan, and then the ones in the front are two. I believe these are 120s in there. So that's the build, guys. Um, Everything went smooth. I'll show you the other side if you want to see the cable management. But like I said, it's a nice big case, so lots of room for um, the heat to dissipate and and keep the computer cool. And I've yet to get this thing hot. I mean, it's it's been amazing. So like I was saying, the air is going to flow through here. I have two fans there, as so you can see the intake. It's going to blow the air through the you know, the card and the hard drive and whatnot. Um, I got another fan up here to exhaust it, and then the CPU cooler is going to pull in air, push it out, and then the remaining air uh, heat will dissipate and uh, it'll be uh, exhausted out of the top. So that's an exhaust fan there, so it keeps the uh, computer really cool. 
and let me show you the cable management now. Okay, and here's the other side here with the door open. Uh, just all my cables. There's the CPU cooler bracket on the back. And yeah, everything went pretty smooth. There's all the wires. Got everything kind of zip tied or twist tied, sorry, on the side. Keep everything neat. As I said, the bulge in the case really helps out because, you know, that's a pretty big cable there. Um, that's a pretty big one, too. So you get some extra room. So all in all, guys, that is the build. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will be turning this on, and I'll be showing you, you know, the fun result if you want to see that after. So tune in to the next video. Okay, guys, take care.